Thank you, Ms. Ryder. Hello. On behalf of the class of 2019, I'd like to welcome again all students, teachers, family, friends, and administrators to this commencement ceremony. I am very grateful to be here and to represent my peers today. My name is Avery Schwartz, and if you couldn't tell by the wizard costume I'm wearing, I'm a graduating senior at Riverview High School. Before I found Riverview, I didn't think that a school existed that would make me happy. You couldn't get me out of bed on a weekday if you tried. You can ask my mom, she'd know. Before Riverview, I'd let myself fail every single class and would miss weeks of school at a time. I'm not an unintelligent person. I'm actually pretty smart. And this failure was not my own. Going through the public school system works fine for most people, but it does not handle the outliers very well. I watched my older sister thrive in our district school, but that was never really possible for me. I'm a nonconformist. I don't like doing things that people tell me to do if I think there's not a good reason that they should be done. So getting me to go look at yet another high school was a real challenge for my mother, but so eloquently as she put it, either you tour this new school or I go to jail. So I toured. My first impression of Riverview was that I did not want to go to school there, or anywhere for that matter. I was very skeptical, uh, I was very skeptical about how a school could take so many contrasting personalities and give each one of them an education that's tailored to their specific needs. But Riverview was essentially my last remaining option and so began my journey. I was partway into 10th grade and my high school experience had not been off to a good start. I have the transcript to prove that. Uh, but immediately, I received a kind of support that I had not seen at all during my time in my district school or in any school for that matter. Riverview is the best high school I've ever been to, and I'm qualified to say that because I've been to not one, not two, but three high schools. <laughs> the staff is so incredibly adaptive, and you just know that every single teacher really wants to see their students succeed. Mr. Nardi! Yeah! Mr. Nardi has more drive than any person I have ever met, and his level of energy never dips below a 12 out of 10. Miss Wolf taught me to enjoy math for the first time, so much so that I went out of my way to put way too much work into her annual Pi Day project competition, which I won for all three years that I've been at Riverview. Uh, Mr. Arena can talk with his students about absolutely anything, and somehow be able to show genuine interest and engagement. Miss Thompson had me write a few too many essays and uh, endured my constant whining throughout all of them, and that deserves some praise too, because I can be very annoying. Uh, Mr. Baikov, he was, always, yeah, he was always looking out for my best interest, whether I thought it was in my best interest or not. All of the TAs are the nicest, most supportive people ever, even though the bulk of their job is taking students to the bathroom. <laughs> Let's just say that I would trust Miss Bates, Miss Trongone, or Miss Steinberg with my new child, my newborn child, if I had one. <laughs> Miss Ryan and Mr. Moran are the most amazing principal assistant principal duo ever. They <laughs> They aren't in the classrooms with us, and so for them to know every single student's name, interests, strengths, and weaknesses speaks a lot to their character as well as their dedication they have to their students. They work so wonderfully as a team because Miss Ryan is able to get us everything that we need and Mr. Moran is able to get us everything that we want. <laughs> All of the staff at Riverview, including the ones that I didn't get to mention, help make our school what it is, and for that I thank them. The future is ahead of us. And I would be lying if I said that I'm the only one here who doesn't quite have it all figured out yet. When I graduated from preschool, we all had to stand up, say our names and what we wanted to be when we grew up. It all seemed so simple back then. Everyone went up and said how they wanted to be a firefighter, a nurse, a veterinarian. Me being me, found all of those jobs much too simple and mundane. And so I said that I wanted to be a dancing magician. <laughs> I never was an inside-the-box thinker, and I'm sure that that same sentiment can be applied to all of my classmates. 
What Riverview has done for us as a group is to show us how that way of thinking can pave the road for our excellence. If I had told Ms. Ryan or Mr. Moran this year that I still wanted to be a dancing magician, I know that they would have shown up the next day with a magic kit, a pair of dance shoes, a sparkly fedora, and put me up on a stage! So I wholeheartedly wish to thank everyone at Riverview for giving me the best high school experience possible and unconditionally giving me the support that I needed. So if you're going to take anything away from this, it's that you should never concede your individuality because there is a place for everyone. Some of you, yes, thank you. Some of you are happy that high school is behind you. Some of you may be feeling a bit lost. I know I've made myself quite comfortable here, but it's time to move on. It's time to challenge ourselves with the next step in life. Whatever that may be, we have been taught the skills that we need to move on. We have to trust in ourselves at some point. So why not make that day today? Congratulations, class of 2019. Let's have another round of applause for those great speeches. Thank you. When, I when, I when, I when he's done, when he's done. Now.